there's a lot of people out there that have these entrepreneurial tendencies. Sure, sure. And are well, prepared well, with the glamour side. Yeah, well, they're not, just, and they're, they're not prepared when all of a sudden life hits, and all of a sudden those first struggles and those first situations, those first problems just slap them in the face, and they're like, whoa, 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 wait a second. This isn't what I signed up for. Good job. Yeah, you pressed the button. What up, guys? It's Gary Vee, and it's time for the daily bread. Give us our daily bread. I want the whole basket. Cause I'm a hustle till I get it or I'm in a casket. Passionate for providing value in every way. Not cashing in for providing value every day. Paying it forward. Right thing, I'll do it till I'm dead. I hope you're hungry cause it's time for the daily bread. All right, what's up, man? We are in Los Angeles right now, hanging out with the uh, All Mindset crew. And uh, actually, we just got done getting uh, suited up with some new suits. But uh, looking forward to you checking out this episode of The Daily Bread. And uh, it's going to be a snippet from the Sales Rules podcast that'll be coming out in a couple of weeks. But definitely, definitely, definitely uh, very important episode because we talk about some serious issues and the fact that it is lonely uh, at the top uh, and some of those struggles that entrepreneurs go through. So it's a super important episode, but I think you'll enjoy it as well. We are in LA, got a ton of content that's going to be coming out over the next few days from here. And I look forward to getting that out to you. Have a good one. They want a clap to line up audio, so if you'll clap. Just make it. Clap. Good. I've never had that. <laughs> ready? Are we ready? Yep. All right, guys. <laughs> All right, guys. Turn <laughs> around, children. <laughs> All right. Daddy has a story. I love how the first thing people are going to see is this video contains sensitive and terrible <laughs> suicide and mental health. <laughs> yep. Today we're going to talk to you about suicide. Suicide. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. uh, Inside joke. Which there's nothing Not funny good about suicide. Or suicide. Or suicide. Yeah. No matter how you spell this it. This is episode 61. 61. All right. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Sales Wolves Podcast. This is episode 61. I am one of your hosts, Tyler Harris. Joseph Caldwell. And we are the Sales Wolves. Ah, I hear. That is right. So, episode 61. Thank you for joining us. We're going to play a video real quick, and it's a video that uh, Gary Vaynerchuk put out yesterday, I believe, and uh, watched it last night, and man, it was super, super impactful. Sent it to Joseph, and um, wanted to show it to you guys, and wanted to have that be kind of the framework of the discussion for this uh, short podcast today. So we're going to start off with showing that video right now. And this is for all of you that want to be at the top. And think it's glamorous there. Listen, when you're an entrepreneur, Put it's it stressful, together. it's lonely. Mm. Like everything is on me, right? Like everything that's broken at VaynerMedia, my fault. <sighs> Fuck! The ones who are successful have this gutter, dirt, work ethic about them. It's really almost lonely. It's like you have, it's like you have the, the, the demeanor of a king and queen, and you have king and queen, you know, values, but you have to work like a fucking peasant. Especially in this fucking industry. You know how many people have committed suicide in the tech startup community in the last five years and there's not a peep about it? Entrepreneurship is on the pedestal and everybody thinks it's easy. It's on you. There's no blaming anybody. If this wins, you. If this loses, you. That's lonely as fuck. I have pain. There's always problems. When I'm in pain, I go to sleep for five minutes and I wake up the next day and I kiss the world. When you're the CEO, when you are the founder, every single thing that happens in this company that's wrong is my fault. Do you know how tough it is when you have nobody else to blame? Do you know how much fun it is for you to blame the person that's above you? Oh, it's iHeartRadio's fault. Oh, it's, it's Pittman's fault. It's my boss's fault. That's fun. It's very tough to be at the top of something, even when it's going great. It is 
lonely at the top. It's only my responsibility. It's only my singular responsibility. At the end of the day, the buck stops with me and I have to, with every ounce of my soul, try to deploy my North Star to my employees. It's fun and I love this space the most. I loved it long before athletes and celebrities and rappers wanted to be entrepreneurs. It was my destiny. It was who I was, it was how I was wired, it was the only thing I knew. My entire life is taking care of crap, putting out fires. 24-7, 365, my whole life is this is a problem. Fix this and guess what? When you're the last line of defense, there's no blaming your boss. Every day's hard. And that's the best fucking part of it. I'm gonna always capitalize on that, you know? And I believe that it's time, like, all these greats are dying now, like, we need, we need new greats, we need new people that we can look up to. And um, I don't have a problem being one of those people. So this is, uh, I think it's a super important topic and as I watch this, it's, I don't think people, I don't think people truly grasp this idea of, you know, you can post the word entrepreneur on your Instagram profile um, and all of a sudden you are one. But I don't think people really grasp the responsibility and the difficulty and just as the, the title lonely at the top the 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 real 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 side of it and I say that from coming from a place that I don't understand it um, to a, to a large degree um, how, how do you even process all those things but I think that's the cool thing about having myself and Joseph on this podcast is that he does because he's in it um, every single day and I have a tremendous amount of respect for that and I don't know if it's something that I could handle uh, quite frankly, I mean, obviously when you're thrown into situations you that you have to be able to handle it, you can rise uh, to the occasion, but um, I don't think everyone's born and equipped to be able to do that. Uh, I don't think it's everybody's role. Yeah, exactly. You know? Yeah. I, and Gary I, talks about that a lot. Yeah, I love that. Man, watching that, it, it, it was like permission mm -hmm. for me to be like, oh. That almost made me feel okay, feel normal. Yeah. Because I can't tell you how many times. All right, so I knew I was different. You know, you know, Roger, you know when he said that mm -hmm. and uh, we were talking to him yeah. and, and he said, so how long did you know? When did when was it you first knew that you were going to be, and he said rich or what did he say? Successful. Successful, yeah. Successful. Like, yeah. And I remember thinking that as a kid. Like as a kid, I remember thinking I'm going to be this and this and this and this. Yeah. And so I literally think that it is, it's something that you're, born with like that mm -hmm. that drive to do that had I known as a kid the mental anguish I would go through mm -hmm. I think I may have chosen a different path sure. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. like when he was talking about suicide man I thought about that mm -hmm. I had thought it more than once yeah. a day for years mm -hmm. I mean yeah I mean I have I have I have gone and thought oh my god what am I gonna do all these people are dependent on me mm -hmm. and and this whole this whole ship is going down. Yeah. Um, and it's it's a lot of responsibility. And people go, well, you make the most money, you can handle it, or whatever. Or you make you do this, or you do that. But it wasn't always that way. Yeah. Like I had people depending on me, and we weren't making it. Mm -hmm. uh, we weren't doing well. Um, but he's right. And and I think he didn't talk about it enough there. But I got to a place to where. I was like, man, I love me. I'm okay with this. I was built to it and equipped to handle this stuff. And yeah, it sucks sometimes. Mm -hmm. But but that part, I, it was almost like I fell in love with that space that I could be in and chaos. operate in. Yeah, the chaos space. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, and I have to be careful because I'll create that on purpose. Yeah. I'll create chaos on purpose when I don't need to. Mm -hmm. um, and because I need a challenge or I need that, I need everything spinning out of control for me to take and steer it forward. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a, it's kind of a, it's uh it's weird. 
it's weird. Well, it's almost like what he was saying that it's 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 difficult being at the top when things are good. It sucks. Like it still not, sucks. It's not just when things are yeah. bad, but I think part of that probably comes into play when you, with what you're talking about is is having to create those scenarios. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think a lot of that is almost it's like comes down to treating life and treating day to day like as a game. Mm-hmm. Like if you know that when you wake up tomorrow, it's going to be fire after fire after fire to put out, situation after situation to deal with, and you and you just expect it. It's mm-hmm. almost like to you, it's just like it's just okay. a Friday. <laughs> like it's just it's just a Friday. It's Saturday. And here's the, and here's the things that I'm going to have to do. Um, but it does take a, a unique individual to be able to handle that. And I don't think it's something that people. It's not a better individual. No. Like. Like yeah. I look at I look at the different roles that we have in our company, mm-hmm. and we've got we've got people like in the right seat, yeah, and we're handling things right. And 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 if I was if I was we say number two man, number three man, but it's not. It's just a different mm-hmm. role. It's not like there's a number one guy, yeah. and this role over here is less important because mm-hmm. this this CEO or this founder or what he was talking about, they're just. If, if they think they're a leader and they turn around and ain't nobody there, they're just out for a fucking walk. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're not leading anybody anywhere. So they can they can think they are whoever they are. But if they turn around on those people and they've got a solid team around them, that's, that's they people have taken the right seat on the bus mm-hmm. and that organization is going somewhere. And they'll be able to weather the storms that they come into because everybody goes into those storms. And I think there's, there's a lot of people out there that have these entrepreneurial tendencies. Sure, sure. And are well, they pro- are, with the glamour side. Yeah, well, they're not, and they're not prepared when all of a sudden life hits and all of a sudden those first struggles and those first situations, those first problems just slap them in the face and they're like, whoa, 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 wait a second. This isn't what I signed up for. Um, what? You mean I've got to make payroll every two weeks? Yeah. <laughs> yeah or lawsuits and different like different things that you're just yeah. going to deal with and and not, like you said, not having anybody to blame it on. Yeah. Um, and having no one else. It's not just not having anybody to blame it on. I think the deeper issue is not having anyone to shoulder it. Not, not even ha- just not having anyone that else that really understands what you're going through, like to yeah. a de- to a degree. It's just like and that's it's, what I got out of the just, video. It's not just that I want someone that I can blame it on because if if you're watching this podcast, you're probably either there or you're on your way there to not playing the, not blame, playing the game. blame game. But it's just having someone that you can talk to that understands what you're going through. I think that's the big thing and that if you are the person at the top you don't have that because you if you're talking to someone that quote unquote is underneath you in the hierarchy of a right. company or even laterally within another company you have to put on this facade like I'm handling it I'm shouldering this I'm championing 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 this like championing is that right yeah championing whatever it is today <laughs> but but you, like you have to put on this this Facade that like I'm handling it because you don't want to show weakness, right? But you also want to show this human element, the fact that like it's real life, um, and that these struggles are real. And so I think that's what people don't really understand. It's not just not being able to blame someone; it's just not being able to have someone that truly gets it. You know, that truly gets it. Yeah, like after I watched that video, you know what I did? I went, yeah. I just took a deep breath. I was like, well, he gets it.